today we are in Texas Hill Country. We are out in the vines exploring vineyards and a couple of other stops all around Fredericksburg. For lunch today, we are heading to Hill and Vine. Their menu looks great, and it looks like a perfect spot to start our day here in Hill Country. Our first dish has arrived here at Hill and Vine. It's a mushroom toast. It's Texas mushrooms with goat cheese on there, a tomato, fresh baked bread. Here we go. That's a good first bite here in Texas wine country. So something really cool about this place is that they have German dishes and they kind of have that wine country feel. So I decided to go for a classic chicken salad sandwich on a croissant with arugula salad. Mm, looks great. And there's a green tomato on here. I have the chicken schnitzel dish here at Hill and Vine, and it comes with pesto, mayo, and we're gonna squeeze a little lemon on there. Of course, this is a classic German dish, and with all the German heritage here in Fredericksburg, fits right in with the area. And on a nice fall day, it's a pretty good meal. Right here, we have the sweet potato spatzel with bacon. And taking a few bites of this dish, and it's a perfect pairing with that chicken schnitzel. Again, playing on the German heritage here, but also putting a little Texas twist on it. Well, that was a great lunch stop. Absolutely delicious. Loved that sweet potato spetzel. Love a good twist on a classic. And now we are heading out into hill country and we're gonna go explore some vineyards and uh, just have some fun. All right, our next stop here in the Hill Country is the Allstadt Brewery. Huge, beautiful building. Oh, there's Adam. Beautiful building. We're gonna head in. I think we're gonna have a few German beers. Hill Country is wine country, so naturally we are starting off at a brewery. We're out here on the back patio at Aldstadt. It's absolutely beautiful. Huge patio, huge, beautiful building. We decided to get a flight. We have a lager, a Kolsch, an amber, and a Vienna red. This is a German style brewery. We've got some German style beers, so let's go. The lager. Oh, that's nice. This, this is, as Adam would say, a very easy drink of beer on a beautiful 75 and sunny degree day here in Texas. I'm really looking forward to the darker beers, but I'm gonna keep going down the line. Here we have the Kolsch. Mm, also very good. A little, little more flavor than the lager. And here we have the amber, beautiful color. Yeah, that's good. Very, very nice flavor. Adam loves amber beers, but he's driving, so more for me. The Vienna Red. I already took a sip of this one. <laughs> Full disclosure, but here's for the camera. Yeah, that's my favorite one. I am normally, I normally hang out on the lighter side of beers, but this is where I hang out. But this, this Vienna Red, 
we might have to get a growler of this to go to bring back to the Airbnb. Vienna waits for me. <laughs> Vienna waits for Adam. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, very good. I like everything I've tried here so far. Um, this is a great stop. Like I said, we are in wine country, but we wanted to come to the brewery first. They do also have a restaurant here where they serve German food. We did just eat lunch, so we won't be heading in, but we're gonna check it out. I have to imagine that during Oktoberfest, this place probably gets pretty packed. Great stop here at Alt Stop Brewing. Beautiful, beautiful tap room, but we're gonna keep rolling here in Hill Country and we've got some wineries we wanna check out. driving through this field. drove through the whole ranch to end up here at the Texas White House where they have a presidential airplane. So we're gonna check it out a little bit. Johnson was the first vice president to have an airplane assigned to him. And that is this plane right here. They refer to it as Air Force One and a Half. It uh, was probably pretty impressive at the time, but um, it's a pretty small airplane. Well, a very nice setting here at the Texas White House. Um, glad we stopped. Always one to check out history. Um, I will say I didn't really do a lot of research for here, so driving around the ranch for like 15 minutes um, was a bit strange, but I think what's most impressive is the setting. It's, it's got a creek right here and it kind of looks out on that and uh, I could see how this would be a nice refuge for a busy office. Chris Winery. Absolutely beautiful property. This tasting room is gorgeous. You're looking out all these glass windows. You see their vines all out in the back here. It's a, it's a nice setting to have a little Texas red.
Well, we changed locations. We're now outside. There's a little patio out here. We are sitting out among the vines. Very chill. We're here in the middle of the afternoon, so it's not very busy, but very chill atmosphere here. Um, really just a nice view of the vines too. I'm really enjoying Texas wine country so far. I wasn't totally sure what to expect from Texas wine country. We've been to some smaller wine regions before, uh, but really some beautiful properties and fantastic weather. We're finishing up here at William Chris and we're gonna head back into Fredericksburg. We have some spots picked out where we wanna have some drinks and we wanna get dinner. Also really enjoyed the wine here. Again, did not know what to expect from Texas wine and all their wine here is Texas grown and it was very tasty. We are at Bergerie in downtown Fredericksburg. It's a wine bar and we're here for a little wine and a charcuterie board. We saw some that they were making when we walked in. I'm very excited. We got the cheese and charcuterie board. I think it's gonna be the perfect snack for this afternoon. Well, there's nothing we love more than a good charcuterie board and we've got a beautiful one right here. In fact, some of our favorite uh, little items to do at home, such as the Peppadou peppers. God, I hope that's what these are called. I love these. I think charcuterie is a perfect wine country snack. We've sat down for dinner at Prometheus Pizza. It's a pizza spot in a trailer. They do Neapolitan style pizza. And if you've got something on your Texas food bucket list, it should be eating at a trailer outside, whether it's food truck or a food trailer. All over Texas, they serve up amazing food out of food trucks and trailers. And I think we found a good one here tonight. We have got our pizza here at Prometheus Pizza. It looks amazing, it smells amazing. We've got red onions, pepperoni, sausage, bacon, candy. Ham? Yeah, we just have so much. This is their meat, uh, meatzilla pizza. And we're going to, it's also Neapolitan style. Oh boy, that's hot. I'm gonna go with this one. It smells so good. You know, eating pizza is a fun way to end the day, no matter where you are. But in wine country, even better. This pizza is absolutely packed with ingredients. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of flavor. Okay, let's just let's just go. <laughs> that is so good. Every bite is absolutely packed with flavor. It is dripping it seems like this is kind of an indulgent way to end the day but i'm uh i'm not complaining about it While we're here in Fredericksburg, we're staying in a very cute Airbnb. It's part of a complex here. It's called the Gathering Guest Houses. So ours is the barn. It's a very cute um, little white, like kind of tiny house. You walk in, there's a really nice sitting area here. There's a fireplace, TV, and then there is a loft space. You can head up there and there is another bed.
there's a, a seating area, uh, seats for for dinner, and then you head into just a small kitchenette, microwave, mini fridge, um, coffee maker, and then you head into the bedroom, nice big king size bed, another big TV, and then the bathroom is also very nice. Beautiful uh, stone shower, big jacuzzi tub, nice big vanity here as well. Lots of towels, which is always great when you're staying in an Airbnb. Very cute decor in here. And then you head through the bedroom out onto the patio here where there is a hot tub, there's also a TV. And over this way, we have a seating area you also get like a fire starter log so you can sit out here around the fire in the evening. Um, but yes, your own secluded private courtyard and um, very nice spot to sit out in the evening. There are several little Airbnbs in this complex, all very cute. Uh, but yeah, this is the barn. It's been the perfect place as a home base as we've explored Fredericksburg and Hill Country and Wine Country here in Texas. All right, we are here at Eaker's Barbecue in Fredericksburg. We have a delicious looking plate of barbecue here in front of us. The owners uh, do a little bit of Korean fusion in their barbecue. So there's a twist here that we're very excited about. Looking at what we've got, we have some gojujang pork ribs that look absolutely incredible. We've got sliced brisket. We have a jalapeno cheddar link here. Then we've got some kimchi fried rice and a cucumber salad. I, I think I have to begin with one of these gojujang ribs because they look amazing. Oh, it's gonna fall right off the bone. Mmm, it looks great. Okay. One of our goals on this trip is to mix it up and try some different styles of barbecue. This is absolutely delicious. Amazing flavor, spicy, but a little bit sweet. And the rib is perfectly cooked. It's just falling off the bone here. Wow, that is some awesome flavor. I think we should have gotten a few more. <laughs> we can go back in. We might have to go back in and get some more. This is really good. All right, here we go. I'm trying this rib. This is a giant rib too. Wow, look at that. Uh, I think I might go on the other side. Mm. Oh yeah, you could chop that up and put it on like fried rice, put it in fried rice. Oh man, that's like perfection. But that's a good flavor. I mean, this is the thing is, we could go to 50 barbecue spots in Texas and eat pretty much the same brisket, sausage, ribs. Like Madeline said, this is a flavor you're probably not gonna find anywhere in Texas. And uh, it's a good spot right here. Our goal to find different sides at every spot continues here at Eaker's. Mm. That is good. Mm. I mean, how do you pass up kimchi fried rice on a barbecue menu? Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. That is very good. Korean cucumber salad. Another side, I don't think you're gonna find on many barbecue things. That's very good. Full flavor, nice and crunchy, crisp. I feel like it's a really nice departure from like beans and mac and cheese. I could eat that everywhere, but this is full flavor. Mm. All right, we're gonna try the brisket and the sausage here, and we're gonna put their homemade barbecue sauce on both.
This is a leaner cut of brisket. A lot of times you see the fatty brisket, so it's kind of that like real big piece. You see a lot of kind of collagens on it. This is a very well done leaner brisket. Good smoke ring. Good barbecue sauce too. Now for the sausage. The Scotty Pippen. The brisket's Michael Jordan. Here in Texas. It's a jalapeno cheddar sausage. I mean, the sausages are so consistently good everywhere you go in Texas. I think they've, they've really got that one figured out. Another delicious barbecue spot here in Texas. What a gem here in Fredericksburg. I mean, we know Austin's gonna have some great barbecue, but to find a place like this in a small town like this is pretty awesome. We've decided to hit up one more vineyard before we head out of Fredericksburg. That is Barron's Creek Vineyard. Looks like a very nice spot. We are out here on the patio at Barron's Creek. They have a beautiful courtyard here, really, really nice property. And I found that a lot of these vineyards outsource their grapes from other places, and then they come back and make their wine here. They grow a lot of red grapes. We're drinking a white today. Um, very nice. And they just build these beautiful, beautiful properties. Great setting to have just a nice glass of wine and then enjoy the outdoors here in Texas. It's a nice way to spend the afternoon. Barron's Creek was a great final stop here in Fredericksburg. Really enjoyed all of these wineries that we've hit up. Had a great time. We've had a great time exploring this region and we're now going to keep on rolling here in Texas. We're heading on to Austin. We're gonna eat some more barbecue. If you wanna see more of our adventures in Texas, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.